welcome to another episode of Beta Test. I'm Brandon, video game host over at NerdyShow.com, and today we're reviewing the brand new Indie Box release version of Escape Goat 2. And I'm here at the lovely convention center in LA in E3 for no apparent reason. What is the Indie Box? If you haven't heard by now, the Indie Box is kind of like a book of the month club with a subscription service. So every month you get sent a completely unknown game, complete with box art and everything, just like the games used to be. So I know what you're thinking. You haven't played Escape Goat 1, but here's a secret. Neither have I. And that's okay, because you don't need to play Escape Goat 1 to just jump into the action of Escape Goat 2. And when I say action, I mean puzzle action. Essentially, you wake up in a tower as a goat, and you have to find your way out. And it's all puzzle-based, and it's absolutely brilliant. So the mechanics of this game are one thing. You're a goat. You go into a room, and there is, there is a world map, essentially. And you have to get from point A to point B. There's a locked door or an open door sometimes, and you've got to get to that door. And there's a series of traps and puzzles in each room in order for you to accomplish that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it sounds easy, but you only have two moves right now as a goat. You can dash really fast and jump. However, along the way, you will pick up a little mouse companion who decides to join you. And when you get a mouse companion, everything goes a So let me tell you about the move set of this mouse, right? So you're a goat, you can jump, and that's it. But this mouse can go up walls, it can go around enemies, it can get a hammer and smash things, uh, it can get a magical hat and teleport and trade places with you, it can get the cape of uh, vengeance, I believe it's called, to shoot through enemies and blocks, and that's the mechanic you're gonna be using a lot at the same time with your goat in order to surpass all these traps and puzzles every stage. So how does this mouse mechanic work? Well, for instance, you can throw the mouse on a wall and he'll start crawling away. And meanwhile, your goat, you can take him and do something else, like sit on a switch by the time your mouse gets to another switch and activates a door. Or you can tell your mouse to stay put and just sit on a switch that lets you progress through the story. So this game has a pretty moderate difficulty. There were some stages that were incredibly frustrating for me, but quite rewarding when I actually completed them. Uh, there was a few stages where I got stuck on them for at least an hour. It took me several hours to at least get near the end of the game, so it's a very challenging game at some points. There are some puzzles to start you off that'll be kind of easy, and there is an exploratory purpose to this game. There are many hidden rooms in this game, and they are quite hard to find. I only found about two out of 15 hidden rooms, and it'll tell you your, your progress in percentage uh, numbers. But essentially, the hidden rooms are very hard, very challenging, and very fun. It is definitely worth trying to find out these hidden rooms before you complete the game. Now. The premise of this game, aside from being a goat locked in some sort of tower, um, the narrative is told by these sheep that are sleeping, and you'll come across them and wake them up, and you'll get their souls. And essentially, you're trying to free these sheep by getting their souls. I'm not quite sure how that works yet, but you need these souls to unlock higher tiers of this tower. I love the keyboard in this game. It actually tells you they recommend a gamepad. I had no problems at all with the keyboard. It was fantastic. I recommend doing it with a keyboard. In fact, if I had buttons all over the place on a gamepad, I feel like that would be weird. Use a keyboard. So I had some specific questions for the main character of Escape Goat 2, but seeing as he's not real, I decided to ask an actual goat. So let's goat to that. So what did happen to all the sheep? How do you respond to the allegations that you had something to do with the sheep's disappearance? Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, he's, he's not responding well. All right, did I enjoy playing this game? Hell yes. Would I recommend this to a friend? Hell yes, I would. Would I uh, say it's worth a subscription fee to the IndieBox.com? Yes, I do. Uh, next month, you're gonna another IndieBox game. No idea what it is, I don't know what it is. You certainly don't know what it is, but every game so far has been great, and I am definitely looking forward to it. So what exactly is in the IndieBox version of Escape Go 2? Let's head back to Orlando and find out. Oh, hi there. So this is the, uh, the next indie box that I got, and Scapegoat 2. But you already knew that probably, because I've been talking about it. So the box art has been done by uh, Kay Monstar, and if you don't know who that is, you need to look it up, because she works on Nerdy Show, and she's awesome. So we're going to take a look inside this, if I can open it. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is a really sweet stained glass window decal with the goat on it, and that's awesome. So, so far, every indie box has come with a awesome paper craft cutout of the characters, or the main character, at least. Indie box logo sticker, I know what you're thinking. I already have one. I have the first indie box. This one has a goat on it and a mouse. Everyone's going to be different. At least that's what they told me, so I'm not really sure. Soundtrack. Now, the best thing about this soundtrack that you can only get through the indie box experience is the bonus track, which is by Danimal Cannon. And if you don't know who Daniel Cannon is, you've been living under a rock, and you need to research that. Mouse keychain. I'm using this immediately. 
hand-drawn instruction manual because you might want to know what the story is. I didn't know what the story is, but I see that there is actually a story. So you might want to play the first one actually because it does actually continue. I don't know. So the the booklet is awesome because it has all the characters and the sheep, and obviously it has the controls, but really there's like four controls, so you don't need to know that. But it has a lot of really cool stuff in there, and you don't get manuals anymore, so you should you should get that. Scapegoat two poster. This is pretty pretty awesome. I don't know who drew this, but I'll find out at some point. And of course you have the um, the cartridge, which once again is on this really cool ultra thin card where you can just. Flip it up. Look, I'm a pro at this now. It was so hard the first time, but now I'm a pro at that. But the really cool thing that you may not have noticed is on the back of this, which I'm hoping they blur out so you don't steal it from me, is a Steam key. So now you have a Steam key, so not only do you have the game, but you can use it wherever you want. I mean, I know you could take this wherever you want, too, but now you can just put it on Steam, so whatever. Uh, so that is all the exclusive stuff you only get for subscribing to IndieBox. So that was the Escape Goat 2 Indie Box unboxing, um, and now i got to get back to E3, because there's still more stuff to do. I'll see you over there. So go to theindiebox.com, check out the subscription, and get an awesome brand new game every month. So while I've got your attention, we did some fun stuff this year at E3. Uh, we did uh, some interviews with some bigwigs, did some interviews with some really awesome indie game developers. Uh, if you want to see the videos, you want to see the daily podcast we've been doing, go to nerdyshow.com and check it out. Or you can find the link here. I hope. I don't make these videos. So if you like this video, if you like this review, click on the subscribe button somewhere I've been told up here in this area. Maybe here? Maybe here. I'm not good with left and rights, but it's here somewhere. Please subscribe. Bye, I'm Brandon. I'll be back next month with a brand new beta test and brand new game. Or sooner than that. I really don't know. Special thanks to Soledad Goat Cheese Farms in Mojave, who rescues goats like this one here and many other animals. Mm -hmm.